is Sony has proven over and over just how committed they are to PlayStation VR. Their recent state of play was practically nothing but, and with amazing VR games launching pretty much every week for the next few months, the future of our little headset is looking brighter by the day. But Sony hasn't done the one thing needed that seems like such an obvious way to sell VR to the masses, and that's by bringing their own AAA first or second party franchises over to the platform. Killzone, Resistance, God of War, Infamous, and of course Uncharted would all make stellar VR games. But regardless of the reason, developer Viva Games decided to skip the line and do the next best thing, and bring us the closest approximation to Uncharted gameplay that we've seen yet on PlayStation VR. But man oh man do we need to get Immortal Legacy's biggest issue out of the way first. The control scheme is nothing like we're used to. In fact, it's such a massive hurdle to overcome, I doubt many people will make it terribly far into the game without simply giving up. Back when PlayStation VR launched, it was the Wild West, and everyone had their own solution for locomotion. But since then, a standard's been set that we've all come to accept, and for whatever reason, Viva Games decided to hold firm in buck tradition. None of the buttons seem to be in the right place, and managing your inventory is way more of a hassle than it should be. Until it all clicks, and truth be told, after spending a ton of time with Immortal Legacy, don't tell anyone, but I actually really like the control scheme. I keep in mind that I've played through the entire game twice, so it does take some serious time to acclimate to. That said, there's no reason for it. There needs to be a patch, and not just for the controls. Smooth turning at its highest speed is painfully slow with mandatory blinders that gave me an instant migraine so click turning is the only option here for seamless gameplay. And as ridiculous as it sounds, my in-game arms are way too short and seem to attach at my neck, so an option for floating hands or longer arms would improve the immersion here significantly. Oh, and there's a weird glitch that sometimes happens when playing on normal with one of the bosses that makes beating it impossible without learning a workaround. And if you're asking yourself, Brian, why are you spending so much time talking about how the game could be improved instead of just reviewing the game we got? Well, the answer might surprise you, because despite all the issues, Immortal Legacy The Jade Cipher is one of PlayStation VR's best games, and fixing some of my bigger complaints could make it even more accessible to a larger audience. There's a reason I played it twice, and that's because, with few exceptions, I really loved every minute from beginning to end. In true Uncharted fashion, you're dumped onto an island with plenty of bad guys to shoot, guns to use, walls to climb, and collectibles to discover as you slowly reveal the story about what's going on here through letters, documents, and audio logs. It's a fully realized world, and even though you'll see a lot of repeating textures that look like they've been ripped straight out of a PS2 game, the effects are really well done. Trees blow in the wind, lightning crashes down in front of you, and there's a surprisingly pleasant number of waterfalls. Even the cutscenes are stunning, although they do pull you out of the action and frequently place the camera in strange and unexpected locations. There's a weird cast of characters that's half Kojima inspired and half Lollipop Chainsaw, and I can't figure out why it all works together, but it really does. And where a typical Uncharted game talks about the supernatural for 90% of the game, and then only turns into an X-Files episode during the final moments, Immortal Legacy dives headfirst into the craziness less than an hour in. And once it does, the story kicks into high gear, and the suspense level never really lets up, with a bunch of well-deserved jump scares at just the right moments. If you were a fan of the mines in Arizona Sunshine, you're absolutely going to love what Immortal Legacy has in store. The first time I played through Immortal Legacy it was on normal difficulty and it took me almost 5 hours to complete, although I ran into some weird difficulty spikes and that boss glitch I mentioned earlier which set me back significantly. My second run was on easy, where I have to recommend you start because even though I never died even once, it was a much more seamless experience, and if you're learning the controls you want to do everything in your power to remove as many frustrations as possible. I know it's a hard sell with all the control issues, but Immortal Legacy The Jade Cipher will grow on you, and once it does, you'll find that it's possibly the best action adventure we currently have, especially if you like the horror slant as much as I did. It's not quite Uncharted VR, but for the budget price of $20, it's a fantastic substitution while we wait. <laughs> 